Paraparaumu Beach Golf Club hosted over 200 of the country's best amateur golfers for the 2015 New Zealand Stroke Play Championship over the weekend. In the men's competition, 21-year-old Tai Ko was looking to add his own national title to his Australian amateur trophy he won last year. After three rounds, he held a one-shot lead over fellow New Zealand teammate Nick Coxon. But that lead quickly evaporated when Coxon opened with two birdies in the first three holes to take over the top spot. With all eyes now on the 18-year-old from the Waikato, up stepped his Japanese playing partner, Toshiki Ishitoko. The 20-year-old who started the day two back of the lead closed out his front nine in style with two birdies and an eagle here at the ninth. With a one-shot lead, the pressure came back on Coxon on 16 when he missed the green with his tee shot and his chip shot. That meant he had to sink this putt for a bogey. But he wasn't out of it yet. On the very next hole, Ishitoku would concede a bogey after failing to get up and down from the greenside bunker. Heading down the last all square, both boys made birdie, sending the competition to a playoff. Teeing off first, Coxon hit both his tee shot and his provisional out of bounds, all but sealing the result. Ishitoko would go on to sink this putt, just as the rain began to pour down for his first national title. I haven't experienced many national championships like this, so I'm happy to win here for the first time. So both Toshiki Ishitoko and Nick Coxon finish on 10 under, but Ishitoku taking out the spoils. Two shots back was the 54-hole leader Taiko, with Denzel Yeremia in fourth. Earlier in the day, the final round of the women's competition got underway with a similar scenario to the men. Sharing the lead was last week's Lawn Master Classic winner, Wen Young Ki. With the girl who finished runner-up to her, Julianne Alvarez. And it looked as though another close battle was on the cards. Heading down the par 5 13th, Key was one shot back from Alvarez. But a misplaced second shot left Key with an awkward chip for her third. After she settled for par, Alvarez pounced, draining this 15-footer for eagle. Julianne shot out to a three-shot lead with five holes to play. And after posting birdies at 16 and 17, her lead had stretched out to an impressive four shots. Coming down 18, Alvarez would make yet another birdie to post a course record 67 to claim the 2015 New Zealand Stroke Play title. A win always feels good. I shot 700 in the last round at Lone Master, but um, uh, I don't know, I guess for me, 700 here feels like a lot better score. Um, and yeah, I think it is the best round I've ever played under those conditions. I had no idea that was a course record or that I was six under. I was kind of just treating this round like match play, I guess, playing against Wen Young out there um, and played pretty well. So four shots back from Julianne was Wen Young Ki on eight under, while last year's New Zealand stroke play champion Minami Katsu finished in third. After already winning a New Zealand amateur title, Julianne is certainly proving she's one of our premier golfers on the amateur scene in the post-Lydia Ko era.